What's up y'all, it's your boy Mixed by AP, and I'm back with another video. In this lesson, I'm gonna be showing you guys the fastest way to mix a song. Now, every professional engineer uses this shortcut, if you wanna call it that, but I didn't show you guys this right away on my channel because I wanted you guys to have an understanding of certain plugins first, because yes, you can use this shortcut to get to a certain point, but there's gonna be things that you need to adjust from there. But if you don't understand what's going on with certain plugins, then you're not gonna be able to use the shortcut the right way. So now I think we're at a point, if you've watched my other videos, I've explained other plugins and stuff, I think that I've gotten you to a point where I can start showing you guys these shortcuts and these tools that engineers use to make their life 50 times easier and be able to mix faster and better. And if you're new to my channel, I teach people how to professionally record, mix and master and get the best industry quality sound on Logic Pro X by using only the free stock plugins. And I also teach people how to engineer on Pro Tools by using the more advanced plugins like Waves, Fab Filter, Isotope, stuff like that. So I have a little something for everybody no matter what level you're at, beginner, intermediate, expert. So if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead, hit that button for me so I could teach you how to be the best engineer you could be. So the shortcut that I was talking about earlier that every engineer uses is called a template. A template is basically the settings of a session that you can save and you could pull up on a blank, completely new session and it will have all the tracks from your other session, from your saved template. It'll have your tracks laid out for you with the plugins that you used with the exact same mix that you had on the original session that you saved the template as. So you can record brand new vocals, drag and drop, and it'll sound exactly like that original session. It'll be mixed right off the bat. You can just drag and drop and not do anything and it'll be mixed. So you could see why this tool is a must have for every single engineer. It just saves people hours and hours of time and it gets you to a certain point. It basically starts you off three feet from the finish line as opposed to starting off at the two miles behind at the beginning of the race, you know? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to save a template from a session that you mixed that you might really, really like that mix and you wanna use it for other sessions in the future. So I'm gonna show you guys how to save a template, create a template, and I'm showing you guys how to load up a template on a blank, empty session, on a new session. And if you watch to the end of the video, I'm gonna be giving you guys one of my personal templates that I spent hours mixing and perfecting that I'm giving you guys for free that you could just download, keep, use whenever you want. So that's kind of my gift to you guys. If you watch to the end of the video, I'm giving you my free, fully mixed, personal template. So I have my logic pulled up, and this is a completely mixed song. This song is done fully mixed. And I would show you the uh, plugins on these tracks, but this is for my engineering masterclass and it has all the secrets and all the sauce and all the things that I do. So I can't show you the exact plugins that are on here, but if you wanna see that, click the link in my description. But take my word for it, this is a fully mixed song. So let's say I really love this mix. It's one of my best mixes I ever done. And I wanna save it as a template that I can use later and make the rest of my songs sound like this. So I'm gonna go up to where it says file next to Logic Pro, Pro X. And you're gonna go down to save as a template, okay? You're gonna click that and it's gonna put you in this area music, audio, music apps, and plugin te and project templates, sorry. So it's only gonna let you save your template in here. So just keep it in here and name it something that you'll easily be able to find later. So I'm gonna name this uh, YouTube Temp Lesson. And I'm gonna save it. And now we just saved our session as a template. It's that easy, that's how you save a template. So now there's only one thing left to do, and that is start a new session and import this template with the same exact mix that you can use later. To do that, you have to go up to file again, and you're gonna go to new from template. They make it so easy for you guys, right? So new from template, close, uh, sure. And right here, it's gonna show you some of the templates 
that you have available for you guys. So right here you see Mix by EP free template. That's the one that I'm giving you guys for free. I spent so much time perfecting this template. That's the one that I use all the time. Look at all the plugins that are on there. You can kind of see like the little ones. And to the left of that, you see the YouTube temp lesson that I just saved. So I'm gonna open that up and it's gonna give me the exact same template with the same exact plugins that I had earlier, right? Except it's giving me these tracks too, these vocal tracks. So all you have to do is just delete and now you have a blank session that is mixed the exact same way as the session that you loved. And now all you have to do is record and drag and drop your vocals and they will all already be pre-mixed. So it's quick, it's easy, and it's kind of like an instant start halfway to the finish line, you know what I'm saying? So that's why every professional engineer uses templates when they're recording with artists because it just saves them so much time and it's just efficient, it's more efficient way. Like look how this session is set up, they just pull it up every time. You don't have to sit there, create new tracks, blah, 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 just use a template, it's so easy. And then from here, there's only two things that I would recommend you change right off the bat before you even start recording and that is your tempo because remember every beat is different and you just have to change the tempo and then you have to change the auto-tune key because every beat ha is in a different key. So that the same auto-tune is not gonna work for every song. So those are the two things that you have to change right off the bat, but then from there, you're good to go and you can start recording and dragging and dropping and your song will be mixed instantly. So in the description of this video, I put the link of where you could download my free template. And I basically started you guys off two feet from the finish line. You could drag and drop vocals into the template that I'm giving you and they will already sound amazing and they'll be like mixed. You just have to make adjustments from there on your style. Hey, is this too much reverb? Is this not enough reverb? Make adjustments from there, but I started you guys off almost to the finish line already. So hopefully that makes your life 20 times easier, guys. You know, I do these videos for you guys. You guys got me to a thousand subs. You know, I never thought that that would happen. I was just making these videos to try and help like two people and you guys just supported me. So I just wanna keep giving you guys good knowledge and good information. So thank you for a thousand subs. And remember, if there's anything that you guys wanna learn in specific, drop it on the comments. I make these videos for you. I literally go through my comments and if I see a, vid a comment that says, hey, can you make a video about teaching us how to do like gates or something? That, then I make a tutorial on gates like that next week and I post it. So I basically do all these videos depending on whatever you guys tell me you wanna learn. So drop a comment on something you wanna learn and I'll make a video about it. Thank you for watching this week's video. I hope you learned a lot. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that I can continue to keep teaching you guys everything I know about mixing and mastering to help you become the best engineer you could possibly be. And as always guys, I'll see you in next week's video. I'm out.